So I'm out on a specimen hunt again. Uh, this time I'm after big bream and uh, I mean, you know, I'm after a double figure fish really. I'm not worried about stringing a load of them together. Just a couple of fish will do. Uh, but yeah, I just want one of them to be a big one. I've come very close to catching a double here in the past. Not managed it yet. So I'm hoping today it will happen. So the rods are out, but they're on a baited patch. Uh, let's go through some of the bits and pieces that I've got in my bucket that I'm spotting out into the lake. A few of the things that I'm actually sort of like putting in the bucket to go out, you can probably guess if you've watched any of my videos, <laughs> to be fair, uh, the krill and squid ground bait. Okay, so straight away, half a bag of that went into the mix down there. Uh, krill feed pellets. Those went in, half a bag of those as well. A whole tin of the krill hemp as well, that went in. And just a bit of the bait boost diluted with water went into the mix as well. On arrival, straight away, 10 large spawns on the spot of that. I then put the rods out um, and nothing <laughs> really happened. It's a very bright day. I'm not really expecting much to happen until about four o'clock. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll get that double figure fish for after. Uh, it is a very bright day. I'm not sure whether, it, you know, we might have to wait till dusk. Uh, it feels like that probably is what's gonna happen, uh, but that's fine. I've got uh, all evening if I need to. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just pray that that big one comes along. So the way I'm fishing is a combi feeder at the bottom on a clip and then that sort of like comes up to a heli kit. Off the heli kit I've just got a tiny little rig, small size 14 hook I think it is and that's got a few maggots on it. The mix that I've put in the bucket I just have to press the feeder in look and that loads up really nicely. Uh, I should have said there are a few maggots in the mix as well because that that is what I'm fishing on the hook. And uh, yeah, the main thing is just to fish those out. I'm literally two on a patch, fishing as accurately as I can using the wrapping sticks. I'm only about seven and a half wraps out. And that's, uh, and that's quite often how I approach uh, my tench fishing and my, and my bream fishing. Just, you know, really nice and accurate on a spot. And uh, yeah, hopefully that, that big old double will come along. is out in the water because I was spotting and this rod suddenly roared off. <laughs> Feels slabby. This could be the start of a feeding spell. Where are we? 120. It has taken a while for that first bite to come. It really has. Really are hoping for this double. We had quite a few slabs from here in the past and we've got very very close here he comes a big bronze bream lovely in you come uh, smashing so we are desperately after a double figure bream from here and we've got pretty close on the first fish of the session look at him Big dark old creature, nine pound six. Uh, so yeah, not, whoa, not quite the double, but it's early. So yeah, maybe we can still manage it uh, before it, it gets into dusk. Ooh, incredible. So I'm just literally photographing that other one and the rod's gone off. Fortunately, I've got two nets with me. The other fish is in a, in a larger landing net. These bream are definitely on the bait now. Could be a good session. I didn't think we were gonna get bites till about four o'clock. And it's about two o'clock at the moment. So yeah, happy days. In it comes, in it comes. And there we go. <laughs> oh my word. So yeah, it's uh, really going off a bit now. That's two big slabs. So we've done it, 10 pound two. Look at him, incredible fish. 
I literally I'd just done a quick bit of video of the other one and I was just carrying it to the water when the rod roared off. <laughs> uh, so he's down, still down in the net, but this one, 10 pound two. Mission accomplished. Well, what on earth do you make of that? <laughs> uh, £9.06 and then £10.02, uh, you know, two on the bounce, uh, literally within 10 or 15 minutes of each other. Uh, absolutely loopy. What I have found a few times uh, is that if things have gone quiet, like really quiet, and it doesn't feel like it's happening, then do something. Um, and quite often I find literally just one spot, one or two, just to activate the swim. And that's exactly what happened on that first fish. You know, it had gone quiet. I just put one spot out. Uh, I decided then to put a second one out and the second one had just hit the water and the rod went off. <laughs> and I had to hit it and leave the spot out in the lake. Uh, fortunately, it didn't drift into the trees, but yeah, it was a classic case of nothing was really happening. So I decided just to try and activate the swim uh, with a spot or two of bait. Come here. There we are. So we are just netted this one. Another lovely bream, but it's not as big as the others. I reckon it must be about six or seven pound. I think we'll just get this one straight back. So it has gone very, very quiet since those fish. Um, literally for about the last hour and a half, had them about an hour, hour and a half ago. I've tried resetting the rods a couple of times, um, but it, it just doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. So I'm going to reset them again. By reset them, I mean literally, you know, bring them in, just put in, put on fresh baits and everything, get them back out on the spot, a few more spawns, and hopefully, hopefully things will all kick in and uh, hopefully we will have another fish or two. As you can probably see, uh, I've got my hoodie on. It's about half past four. As soon as that sun goes in, which it has, it's moved around and it's gone in in this particular spot. It's still quite cold. Whoop. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Hopefully that's a liner. You know, if you, with, with a lot of these, when I'm bream fishing quite often, I'll find the liners will come before you actually get a take. So that is a good sign. Uh, maybe, maybe I have got a few fish on the bait. I've actually just added more hemp into the mix. So yeah, more of the krill hemp. I've chucked uh, sort of like more of that in just to try and switch things up a bit. If it's not happening, um, I, I just mess around with maybe what I've got in the mix. Uh, what I have got, I have got some of the crushed hemp as well with me. If uh, if it's really not happening, I'm, I'm going to add some of that to the mix as well. And uh, yeah, just, just try and see if I can switch up the bait a bit and try and make something happen. And at last, we've got a bite. That has taken ages. I had to be really, really patient. I decided to resist the temptation to put more bait out. Absolutely superb. Sun is shining. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, it's funny, I put that more hemp in. I did say I've put a little bit more hemp in. I wonder if that, that's what made it happen. 
do think, you know, if it's not happening, then it is worth making some changes. <laughs> Just something, you know. Just don't keep doing what you're doing. It's coming in slowly, very slowly, this one. And I think, quietly, I think this could be the best of the bunch. I mean, it feels big. Come on. Get its head up. And in it goes. Oh. So unbelievably, we have got a bigger one. Look at him. <laughs> Even bigger. 10 pound eight. So 10 and a half pound this one. Proper clonker. I've had to wait a long time for that bite. So to be honest, it's Friday, Friday night, and I think I'm gonna make my way home. Uh, absolutely chuffed. Not only did we get one double, we got two.